As more people venture out of their bubbles and take off their masks, some are actually catching what they call the reemergence cold. CBS 2's Meg Baker spoke with some people who are sneezing it out. I had, you know, the full body aches, exhausted, fully congested. Maggie McSpedden says a terrible cold took her out for days. She hasn't been sick in more than a year. She blames socializing without masks for the re-emergence cold. You can probably hear it in my voice, too. Our whole family got sick after venturing out of our bubble, so I'm sticking to Zoom interviews. We've been isolated for so long, our immune systems are probably getting used to just working again. John Magicomo is suffering the same symptoms and was nervous, even though he's fully vaccinated. I had a cough, and so obviously I was self-conscious. I did a rapid and a PCR so I could tell everyone that I was seeing if I coughed, God forbid, that, uh, you know, I was double negative. Dr. Perry Halkidis with Rutgers says this is going around, and you may catch it no matter how healthy or strong your immunity is. It is just a natural phenomenon that people are engaging with each other again. They're not washing their hands, they're coughing on each other, they're interacting with each other, and they're spreading disease. How are you guys feeling? Oh, my, do you hear me? I like to keep thinking I'm getting better, and then I sound worse and worse. We have to slowly reemerge over the next six months because if it's not going to be COVID that's going to break through again, it's going to be look like the cold you have, right? So, and people are starting to have panicked reactions right now. The best defense? Constantly wash your hands, cover your mouth, wear a mask if sick, and get your rest. In New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And Dr. Halkidis also reminds people to check and make sure other vaccinations are up to date, like chicken pox and shingles.